Hey guys, this is my 1985 Toyota Celica, or if you're in the States, you would call it a Celica because you're weird. <laughs> did win the quarantine car show last year which was unexpected but pretty cool to find that out so that was awesome I don't run an IAC valve has been on a dyno, it made 133 kilowatts out of the rear wheels. It redlines at 8,200 RPM, so it really does scream when you get up to those RPMs. It's painted in a Ford XR6 Silver. Has a fiberglass hatch. Doesn't fit the best, but it is fly with us at the end of the day, so you can't really complain too much about that. Uh, has US marker lights instead of the vents, just to be different because I'm in Australia. SSR mesh wheels and a 14 by 8 all round. Running semi slicks on the front. MA61 Celica Super Seats. Did want some sort of comfort because I do drive this on the street a fair bit. Six speed manual, uh, hydraulic handbrake all tucked in into the center console there. Uh, video gauges, AM gauge with the AFR and a Nardi steering wheel. As for the engine swap, Toyota Arteza engine, which is a 3SG Beams, for those that don't know. Um, it was only sold on the Japanese market, so pretty cool getting my hands on that. It runs ITBs from a blacktop 4 age with SQ Engineering's uh, adapter and trumpets. I have a lot of SQ parts on here, they're really high quality. Um, I'm not gonna name more because we'll be here forever. It's running a full stainless exhaust from the head all the way to the back of the car. Thanks to my friend at Old School Fab, thanks to him. Does some really good work. I do run power steering on this as well. Don't have cross member spaces like most people do. I do run a Astro Electronics power steering pump down there instead of a belt driven pump because I only have that little belt there which runs a Toyota Echo alternator because they're a lot easier to get a hold of. Adjustable brake bias from Willwood because I did a disc conversion in the rear which is out of an MA61 Celica Supra which is pretty much the same car from the firewall back. Um, as for suspension in the front, it's a full techno toy tuning catalog pretty much, from caster arms, control arms, steering arms, and tie rods to coilovers, um, the strut tops. So yeah, pretty much the old color look. Catalog in the front. Got my engine loom and ECU through Panic Y in the US. They do some pretty neat stuff over there. So thanks to them. And it did come with a startup map, so that was really, really handy to have. But yeah, overall, pretty happy with how the car came up. Um, sounds awesome, it's wicked to drive on the road and it is really good around the track as well. Over the moon with this car. Um, just like to thank D-Boss Garage for hosting the quarantine car show, for the vouchers as well, that really helped out. That got me a lot of my little bits that I needed to do to finish this car. Good luck to everyone who's entered in this year's quarantine car show. It'd be really cool to see some other cool builds that will pop up. So good luck and uh, thank you.